this is not a cry for help. <clears throat> um, this is just me showing you another side of myself that sometimes I do cry quite a lot. And instead of trying to make myself look super put together, I have decided to record this. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it, but it'll be recorded. Um, anyway, today is a challenging day for me. I have been awake for about... I don't know. I've been awake since like 7.30 last night. It is now, uh, let's see, it is now 11.04 a.m. here in my time. And yeah, I've just been awake. And I finally cried because, not because I was so sleepy, but because I just, I had to let out the things that have just been inside of me and causing me to feel various ways. Um, sadness and some really weird, irrational things that are not true, but that's what I was feeling. And I'm just being honest. Um, I'm not going to share all of those things because it's not necessary to share with everyone publicly. But um, I have a therapy appointment tomorrow, so that is a good thing. Um, but even if I didn't have a therapy appointment, it's just something that sometimes I go through. Um, as a caregiver, I give out a lot of care um, in a way that many other caregivers do not unless they have experienced some pretty big things so um, and i don't want to minimize anyone else's things that they experience i'm not saying that i'm talking about my experience and um, one of my persons i used to take care of used to tell me how you know great i do and I've had other family people, not my own family, but other people like, oh, you know, like, yeah, you do it this way. and That's so great. And I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. But as I said, the reason that I give care the way that I do is because I am giving out what a lot of times I wish I could have a little bit of. And so I pour out everything onto the people that I have the privilege to be able to share a space with. I try to support them. I try to give them love and encouragement and some peace, some joy, some understanding. Um, yeah, I try to make connections because a lot of times those are the only times I have connections with people. Um, I do have connections with some other people, but since I'm so very far away from my actual family, I don't get the opportunity to do that um, very often. And some people, I think, believe that, oh, she's fine, you know. And I guess I'm fine, whatever that means. Um, but honestly, I'm not fine. I'm just going to say that. Um, but to be honest, also, I don't believe that many people are fine. That's just a word we say to acknowledge that the question of how are you doing. And so um, fine has become a regular thing. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling. It's really like a brain dump of like what's going on and what I'm feeling. So it's mostly for me. It's really not for anyone. But if it helps you, that's great too. Um, but just want to say that sometimes life can be so overwhelming. Um, 
and I am in this moment trying to give myself a lot of grace and a lot of tenderness, trying to give back to myself what I don't um, usually always do for myself. Um, and something my teacher said recently, um, I just finished my uh, doula class. I am a, now a postpartum doula. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, I am a person that comes to support the family after they have had the child and um, to lend myself to some of their needs. I am not a housekeeper. I am not a cleaner, but I am the person that lends support in certain areas um, in regards to how they are adjusting to life now with the child um, that is now Earthside. So uh, that is what uh, I will be doing. Um, and yeah, so... Um, <sighs> I've experienced a lot of grief over the past, I'll say nine years or so. And I have, at different points, not been gentle with myself. I have been very rough with myself at different points. And sometimes I just need to cry. Sometimes I just need to let it out. As a small child, I did not cry at all. Um, I was not the crying child. I would maybe cry like here and there if at all, but I really didn't cry at all. I was the kid that just really just kind of moved through life. And it wasn't until um, I'd say probably in my 20s that I really, really cried. Um, I had to cry a few times before that, but like my real, real cry, like my soul cry like letting out things, um, really healing and cleansing that didn't come to I was in my twenties. And so now sometimes I don't allow myself to cry because I feel like if I do I have to rearrange things too much. Um, especially with the kind of work that I do at the hospital and so I try to hold it in and not deal with it. Um, someone I know used to tell me, don't hold it in, just like let it out. And I'm still working on that. Still working on allowing myself the space to let it out, however that looks. And I am. Um, I'm just in a space right now where this is what I need to do. Um, I have eaten some food. I drank some water. Um, my throat is hurting a bit. So I did some healing things um, to take care of myself. I've been I drank some hot water this morning with a ginger mix and um, yeah it's time for me to probably take a shower really clean myself up but I just haven't felt like it honestly um, I've been feeling really just mucky I'm just very mucky today um it's not any one particular thing. It's a lot of different things and things that I've been considering moving forward. And it is so interesting how this shows up because there are some great things that are coming that I've planned and been wanting to do and going forward with. And I think I've just been scared to go forward with them and to to 
to go in directions that don't, I don't know how it's going to look. And even moving out here to where I live now, I didn't know and I had meltdown after meltdown. And I just cried out yesterday and today, like, I'm just tired. I'm tired of trying and trying. And it doesn't mean like, um, doesn't mean what you think, what you might think. It's not that. It's just sometimes I just get really tired of trying so hard. And sometimes it feels like there's no, the thing that I really want most is not even there. And it doesn't mean that I'm not going to keep going. Um, I've heard that I'm brave. I don't feel that way. Because bravery sucks, I'm going to be honest. It sucks. <laughs> it's a trash term to me, really honestly, at this moment. Because I'm not brave. I really am not. I am raw. I am hurting. And I don't feel great. I just don't, honestly. Um, like I said, this is not a cry for hope. So please do not. Start sending messages of, oh my goodness, I'm going to do this, and oh, and oh, I don't need that. That's not what I'm, I'm not looking for pity. I'm not looking for, oh, sorry, I'm not looking for that. That's not, it's not a, like a, like, call out for this. No, it's not that. But it is something to be aware of, not just for me, but there's other people who deal with the same thing. And many people will never make a video like this. They will never post it. Um, but I think maybe I will go ahead and post this. Just because maybe it'll help someone else to be able to see that they are seen. And that they are loved and cared for. And that someone else can kind of feel like what they're feeling sometimes how difficult it is and I think about parenting and I think about like well what makes me think I can be a parent because in the future I plan hopefully next year to get a larger place I live in a studio so get a larger place like a two-bedroom or so and to um you know either adopt or foster children and Sometimes I'm like, are you crazy? Like, are you really crazy? Like, you're you're not even, like, together with yourself. And, but I don't think that children necessarily need somebody that's so together, no matter what books that are written about parenting or no matter what videos come from people who are so-called experts in the field of you know, child psychology and all of that doesn't matter because every parent is out here. They just trying to survive. <laughs> They're trying to do better than what their experience was. They are out here. They have their struggle days too, you know, probably more than not. And I'm just doing some work on me right now. So, as I do the work on myself and do some healing for the little child inside of me that did not get healing and did not get some of the things that they needed, I'm trying to help her grow. I'm trying to be kind to her. Mm -hmm. Gosh, my face looks terrible. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I'm trying to do some of the things that um, I think are necessary for her. Even taking it slow because as a child, I had to constantly run, run, run everywhere. And I wanted to slow down, and it was like life just would not let me slow down. And to some people that grew up around me, they probably didn't think it was like that. 
but it was very difficult and challenging for a four-year-old to have to keep constantly running around all week long. And when it was time to go to sleep, I could not sleep because everything was so fast. And it was like no space for me to just be. So here in this moment, I am trying to allow myself to rest, to take it slow as I need to. If I need to move a little faster, I will. But I think just talking about this is helpful. I don't know what I want to even call this. I have no idea. It's just this, what it is. Um, I am going to probably take a shower now and clean my face and so with these hormonal things that are oh my gosh, like why? Hormones are just going everywhere. Yeah, I still have my cycle, so she's about to come and explode my life. But um yeah, anyway. That's all for now. Um, I will, just a note, I will in the future be um, making some videos as I can about a few different things. Some of the things I learned in my class that I just took and some other things that I am learning because I do plan to do the birth doula um class as well. I don't need to do any of these classes. This is something that is a goal of mine. It's outside of just career. It's not a career. It's just, it's a work, excuse me, that I have been wanting to do for a long time. And so um, I will, excuse me, <laughs> I will go ahead and try and make some videos on that. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope that you are good to yourself today. I hope that you will take the time that you need if you need to slow down. And maybe you're not able to slow down as much as you really want to. But try and slow down. Try and do what you need to do for you. No matter what your actual life is like going right now. Um, and uh, yeah see you next time